Good evening, everybody. I'm Lillian, and I am concerned about our coral reefs. Let's hit it. All right, so I've always known somewhat of what was happening to our world's coral reefs and our ocean health, but I never really understood the exact extent or the intensity to which it was happening until I had a personal experience in Hawaii. I was scouring the beach for seashells, but all I found were these shards of bleached coral. And just for reference, on the right is bleached coral. Living in Montana, I've always felt like I've been fairly removed, especially from the ocean. I mean, we're 800 miles away. It's hard to really know. Um, but I really come to realize that we do contribute. Our rivers flow into the Missouri, into the Mississippi, and later into the Gulf. We, even in Bozeman, contribute to the dead zone that's in our Gulf. And one of the ways we most directly affect our coral reefs is through our tourism, specifically our coastal tourism. Oftentimes we are hanging out on that beautiful white sand beach or we are swimming in the ocean and we don't really know the condition that those ecosystems are in. We don't know if they're suffering or they're dying and sadly they really are. Um, this is a healthy coral reef system. This is a very colorful one. Um, all coral is different colors. It doesn't necessarily have to be super bright and really colorful to be healthy. But regardless, they have all of this life and they sponsor so much. And those of you who have scuba dived know what I'm talking about. But while they are so beautiful, they provide so many other services. One insurmountable service being this protection for all of our beautiful islands. Without the reefs, the islands would completely cease to exist, right? There would be no islands. There would be no beautiful white sand beaches um, or any of our tourist attractions. And but all of this is at risk because of our mass waste and pollution. This is our new continent that we're adding to the map, um, completely made of plastic. It's amazing how much we've contributed to our oceans in plastic and waste, even in only the last three decades. And lucky enough for Hokusai, when he painted his famous painting, there was no plastic in the ocean. But today, this is our reality. And now the question becomes more so, how do we help reduce our impact and how do we deal with what we've already created? And a, a huge contributor to this plastics is our more developing countries, such as India and our Indonesian islands. Um, and the biggest problem with these countries is that they lack the education and the funding to actually know what they're doing. Yes, they're shoveling all of their waste into the into their rivers, which goes directly into the oceans, but they don't realize what impact that has on them and what impact it has on the world. But that also doesn't mean that our developed countries are off the hook either. We, obviously, who doesn't want to live on the beach? And so our coastal development continues to rise. And because of that, a lot of our deforestation is also increasing, causing this erosion on our coastlines, causing soil to wash upon the reef. And another issue on a more local level, especially for our Indonesian islands, is that a lot of overfishing and brutal fishing tactics. And this is because they're struggling to buy, provide for their families, but they need their food, right? And so they're using these brutal tactics like blast fishing, cyanide fishing, and weighted drag nets. Another more global issue, obviously, is our climate change. As our Earth's temperatures are rising, our water temperatures are rising, and our water levels are rising because our ice caps are melting. And this is a double whammy for the reef because they can't live under 50 meters due to photosynthesis, and they have to live at certain temperatures to survive. So while this affects us, who else does it affect, right? It affects all of these animals, all of these ecosystems. It's amazing the life that they sponsor. And they're considered to be the rainforest of the sea. There's the second most diverse ecosystem on the planet, second to rainforest, in case you didn't guess. Um, but why is that? They have so much room for everything. If you think about a rainforest, a rainforest has room and is so diverse that it has space for everyone. Just for coral, it's, they have room for the bottom feeders. They have room for the open swimmers and the middle dwellers. But when a coral system bleaches, it becomes like a desert. And so going from a rainforest to a desert, there is no longer any room or space for that ecosystem. If you think the rainforest had so many places for everyone, like we just talked about, but they no longer exist. It's a much more harsh environment, and it can no longer sponsor that life. So going back to my personal experience that I had in Hawaii, I really came to realize that I've taken a lot of what we have here in Montana for granted. 
And I've come to realize that a lot of these, what we do have to offer in Montana and other places isn't permanent, but, and they need help to help survive, especially for our future generations. And I think it's important to remember that we all have an impact. Going back to that Mississippi water delta I showed you at the beginning, that we do have an impact. Even here in Bozeman, we affect our ocean health. Um, and as while it's important to remember that, I think it's even more important to remember that we also have the power to help be the change as well. I think it's hard to pick out just one thing that we can change and say, this is it, this is what I need to change and make it all go away. But I think in general, keeping a mindset that everything ends up in the ocean, especially when we are consumers, keeping that in mind that maybe don't buy those toxic house products because it all ends up in the ocean. And really, it's not that we don't care about our environments. We love our environments. We live in Montana. And it's not that. It's our cares go about a mile wide, but only an inch deep. And that's because we think so much more on an individual level, much more than we do globally. And I think the, one of the bigger things is that we know so little about our ocean. And we only know about 10%. And thanks to the reefs, we know that 10%. They offer so much to technology, to research, and they offer so much to our future generations. The reefs is, surmountable, is insurmountable. Their quality, their, what you say, I guess. I can't think of the word, I'm sorry. Um, but regardless, they're the indicator that our oceans are sick, and our oceans are so important. And it affects us, it affects the world, and most importantly, it affects our future generations. Thank you so much.